What we've been working with largely at the University of Georgia most recently have been um, open access materials. So we've been working a lot with open educational resources. And I guess I've, you know, we've, we first began that work around 2013 and the notion was maybe we could help a percentage of our students that have difficulty making ends meet. So let's say that you and I went to the same high school. Um, we had similar SAT, similar grades, we got into the same school. And during our freshman year, that first semester, um, because of your socioeconomic status, you're able to buy that textbook, you know, first day of class. But then maybe me, because I um, have difficulty making ends meet, I had to work through the financial aid system, and maybe I got a check 10 days in, and I get the check cash, I get to the bookstore, and then I get the textbook. Um, I bet you having the materials on the first day and me not having the materials, the textbook, until maybe two or three weeks into the semester, I bet you do better on the first test. So then it really does kind of become a, an issue of equity. So we initially began with that notion. It's like maybe we could save students money and um, make it easier for them to access um, materials. But then as we started thinking about it more and more, we saw, well, if we, if we are able to help a faculty member make the decision to adopt, we shouldn't conclude our relationship with faculty there. As a teaching and learning center, this is actually a real opportunity if someone's going to be entering through the process of rethinking their course around a textbook and the way the textbook might be organized. And so, okay, you need to reorganize a few things, reorganize your syllabus, reorganize maybe some of the tests that you are gonna be giving. Well, this is a real opportunity to actually partner with them to redesign their course. So in most of the work that we've done as we've fostered the adoption of uh, free materials, we've also worked with faculty to rethink assessments, rethink the pedagogy within the classroom, rethink the entirety of the approach. So we think it's not just about now saving students money and possibly helping them have course materials, but it's also about improving the course. But then, you know, as we've thought about those notions and thought about what d does the free materials or what do the, those actually provide for individual students, I think it does indeed turn into a notion of, of equity.